Hello friends, this is Alex. In this video, we are going to discuss about ABG interpretation. What is ABG? ABG means arterial blood gas analysis. Arterial blood gas analysis. The name itself suggesting you we are going to check the gases levels in the arterial blood. Okay, so we have to know the what are the gases will present in the arterial blood. So what are the gases present means mostly carbon dioxide and oxygen. Okay, and uh, along with that there is a bicarb will be present and we are going to check the pH of the blood. So before uh, checking the these things one must know the normal values of the all these things what we are going to check means pH of the blood and partial pressure of the uh, partial pressure of carbon dioxide and bicarbonate values and partial <coughs> pressure of oxygen values so these four components we are going to check in the ABG okay so, if you want to interpret the ABG, one must know the normal values of all these things. Okay, the normal value of normal value of pH is uh, normal value of pH of a blood is between the 7.35 to 7.45, and the normal value of PCO2 between the 35 to 45, and bicarb is between 22 to 28 okay and the partial pressure of oxygen normal value is between 85 to 100 okay if any deviations are taking place in all these values then we, can, we, may, we must say there is something abnormality in the ABG okay so that's why we have to remember these normal values any deviation like suppose take for example pH if it is less than 7.35 that is a problem and if it is more than 7.45 that is another problem so that's why we have to remember these values to interpret the ABG okay and why we need to do this ABG test for the patients means there are some main pro problems like to find out the main respiratory problems like uh, asthma COPD and some sleeping pattern disturbances like OSA, obstructive, obstructive sleep apnea and cystic fibrosis and to know the acid-base imbalances in the blood also. So these are these main indications apart from this, there are so many indications also there. Okay and what we are going to see in the ABG mainly. Okay what we will see. So acid levels and alkalosis levels alkalosis okay we will see whether it is a acid or alkalosis and mainly two components we will see what are those things means whether it is a acid state or alkalosis state or we have to see mainly two things are there respiratory component and metabolic okay again in respiratory Two things. One is respiratory acidosis and metabolic respiratory alkalosis. And same like in metabolic acidosis and alkalosis. Okay. So here two things are respiratory acidosis and respiratory alkalosis metabolic acidosis and metabolic alkalosis when we will say respiratory acidosis and when we will say respiratory alkalosis and metabolic acidosis alkalosis means we will see one by one okay and first of all when we will say whether it is acidosis or alkalosis or whether it is respiratory or metabolic means by seeing these values we will define okay suppose if you take for example, pH of a particular ABG is less than pH of a ABG if it is, for example, 7.30. Okay. 
This is acidosis, acid state. Okay. The pH of a blood, if it is less than 7.35, it denotes it is in a acid state. Okay. Then it is considered acidosis state. Okay. And if a pH of a blood is more than 7.45, okay, then you have to say it is a alkalosis pH more than 7.45, like for example 7.50, okay, then it is alkalosis state, okay, then same like here also 7.35, 7.45, like that. Suppose here 7.31, okay, here. 7.49 just for example pH all these are pH values this length okay so but when we will say uh, it is respiratory or metabolic okay mean these four values PCO2 bicar PO2 forget about PO2 for some time well, mainly these three things plays a very important role okay we, we discuss about pH if it is less than 7.3, it is acidosis state. If it is more than 7.45, it is alkalosis state. Then coming to the PCO2 and bicarb. Mostly the PCO2 plays an important role in the respiratory component. Okay. If pH levels are decreasing, means uh, 7.35, uh, less than 7.35 pH, then it is acidosis. Uh, that time the PCO2 levels may be more than the uh, 45. Okay, see the PCO2 levels here in the respiratory component 7. Point, uh, sorry, imagine PCO2 is 50. Okay, here PCO2 may be 30. Okay, so. so so, so PCO2 of, uh, in the alkalosis state, maybe for example, just for example, 30 here and in the metabolic state, acidosis means, uh, you know, already pH is less than 7.35 and here PCO2 may be between the normal levels like, uh, for example, 36 and here just imagine PCO2 is about 37, okay. And next thing is bicarb. Bicarb values between just imagine 22 and 25. But coming to the metabolic state, okay, metabolic component, bicarb levels will be differs with the pH. Means PCO2 is in it will be in normal state. Bicarb levels will be in differs with the pH. Like suppose pH is already decreased, so bicarb levels also decrease. Like 20 here and here pH increase, so bicarb also increase. Like like this. Okay. Here I just I I will explain you how the things will happen. Means see mainly the respiratory component. What is happening? What what will happen means. Simple thing to remember is called uh, one mnemonic is there ROM R O M E R O M E means respiratory opposite metabolic equal respiratory opposite metabolic equal means in the respiratory component of the ABG what we will see the mainly in this area pH and PCO2 plays a very important role. But coming to the metabolic state, pH and bicarbs we have to see. Okay. So I told you respiratory opposite. In the respiratory, suppose imagine here what is happening? pH is less than the normal value. It means pH is decreased. So respiratory opposite means what we have to see? PCO2. So PCO2 is not in normal value. PCO2 increases than the more than the 45. Okay. Means respiratory is opposite. But here in the bicarb is in normal state between the 22 to 28. So respiratory state acidosis pH is less than 3.5. So it is acid state and PCO2 is in high.
high state okay so it is decreased so automatically pco2 increase respiratory opposite at the same time alkalosis imagine ph of a patient is more than 7.45 here we is 7.50 it means ph is increase so it is obviously alkalosis then what happened in the pco2 pco2 is less than the normal so it is increased so pco2 is decrease respiratory opposite these are the two compound at the same time bicarb is in normal state okay clear respiratory opposite means in the respiratory component if ph is increasing by carbon dioxide levels will be decrease okay ph is increasing when ph is decreasing carbon dioxide levels will be increase these two things we will see in the respiratory component at the same at the same, uh, at the same time bicarb is in normal state then coming to the metabolic state what is happening we have to see the ph of the blood and the bicarbs okay here carbon dioxide levels will be in normal state okay see here in the acidosis state metabolic acidosis acidosis ph is decrease 7.31 so acidosis then what is this carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is a normal between the 35 to 45 so bicarb is also decrease less than the normal okay so metabolic equal me metabolic equal means ph decrease so bicarb also decrease here alkalosis more than 7.45 so it is alkalosis oh, then this is normal and here what is happened bicarb also increase so if ph increase bicarb also increase so that is about metabolic alkalosis metabolic acidosis ph decrease and bicarb decrease here these two are normal okay so what is happening simple thing in the respiratory component ph and carbon dioxide but metabolic component ph and bicarb okay these two these three uh, things we have to remember this is simple okay so uh, just for example i will give you one example you have to so here ph is 7.32 so what it is less than normal means acidosis state okay then pco2 is uh, 35 okay 35 is it normal okay then it is in normal state then bicarb HCO3 okay is 20 bicarb will also decrease okay so what it, what it denotes what is the diagnosis here so what is happened pH decrease and carbon dioxide is in normal state bicarb decrease so what is it it is already less than 7.35 acidosis state uh, there is no problem with the carbon dioxide then problem with the bicarb so it is metabolic acidosis acidosis okay clear then next ph is 7.49 okay it means it is more than the normal so it is in alkalosis more than 7.45 means alkalosis okay and pco2 imagine 30 uh, 38 okay then again pco2 is normal okay and bicarb is 30 okay again what happened pH increase okay no problem with pco2 then bicarb also increase then what happened it is component of metabolic thing again the diagnosis metabolic alkalosis clear 
metabolic alkyl bicarbs and PH is in abnormal state. PCO2 is normal. Okay. Coming for another example. pH is 7.30 PCO2 is 50 and bicarb is bicarb is like normal state 24 ok then tell me what is the diagnosis so diagnosis is like 7 point is 7.30 means it is less than 7.35 means acidosis state then PCO2 is increased more than 45 uh, means it is a respiratory component so bicarb is normal then it means respiratory acidosis clear ok this is the respiratory acidosis uh, example at the same time suppose pH 7.552 so more than normal more than 4.5 so alkalosis state alkalosis PCO2 obviously so 30 so less carbon dioxide related to respiratory component bicarb is normal like 23 ok so respiratory alkalosis ok these are the simple examples ok in this uh, there are other things compensated uncompensated partially compensated things also there compensated means uh, pH will be uh, normal ok and the compensated uncompensated this is a vast topic so uh, as of now remember these things these are the main uh, things to remember to interpret the ABG analysis ok uh, as a beginners you have to remember these normal values pH PCO2 bicarb PO2 normal values ok based on these things only we will interpret the ABG thank you guys